would like to say that I like especially the sentiment expressed on the face of it. The noblest motive is the public good. I think if we all carry that motto in our hearts, in every city and community in the land, there is no question but the proper thing, American democracy will survive. The words of President Franklin Roosevelt as he dedicated what was in 1938 known as the Civic Center and today as the San Diego County Administration Center. For more than three decades, San Diegans dreamed of having an elegant home for local government. It would be a place to house both county and city branches, a building to arouse civic pride, and a building to become a focal point of the community. Early plans drew on the design of Washington, D.C. It was called the Nolan Plan, named for city planner John Nolan. It called for a great avenue of government, from Balboa Park to the harbor, where the new Civic Center building would be constructed. That original plan was eventually scaled down, and in 1933, San Diegans themselves went to the polls to decide where the new building would be located. Architects went to work quickly. Initial drawings echoed the Spanish Revival architecture of Balboa Park, but those initial renderings evolved into a Beaux Arts classical style. Bond issues were proposed to build the Civic Center, but with the country in the midst of the Great Depression, those proposals were repeatedly voted down. Then in September 1935, just days after visiting the site himself, President Roosevelt authorized a grant worth nearly $1 million, money that would build San Diego's first skyscraper. January 4th, 1936, construction begins on the Civic Center project. There was plenty of skepticism. The devastating Long Beach earthquake just three years earlier led to doubts that the new building in San Diego would be able to handle a major quake. And as a result, steel pilings were reinforced in all directions during construction of the foundation. And soon, the Civic Center project was considered to be cutting edge, the first of its kind anywhere. Both county and city governments prepared to move into their new quarters. The north end would house county departments. The south end would be for the city. And by July 16, 1938, President Roosevelt was back in San Diego to dedicate the Civic Center, built at a cost of $1.7 million. 25,000 San Diegans joined him, there to witness history. By the end of that year, the first official government meeting had been held within its halls. A lot has changed here since 1938. The city moved out in 1964, and the building officially became the county administration center. Expansions and renovations were made in each of the past four decades. But other elements to this most distinctive building in the San Diego skyline have not changed. Reminders of the very reasons this building was constructed welcome those who enter both the east and west sides of the county administration center. Forty individual cement figures adorn its exterior. Above the main entrances, elaborate tile work and a historical representation of San Diego from the date of discovery to the date of the building's construction. The red tile roof and glazed Franciscan pottery give the structure its southwestern feel. And facing San Diego Harbor, the Guardian of Water, the 13-foot statue of a pioneer woman holding a water jug. Local sculptor Donal Horde created her from a 22-ton granite block which was quarried in Lakeside. She symbolizes the importance of water to San Diego. The attention to detail is evident inside the County Administration Center as well. Designers got their federal grant money's worth. The first and second floor walls are lined with marble. Original brass and glass fixtures remain. Philippine mahogany was used for most of the staircases and other interior woodwork. Artists were hard at work where politicians now spend their days. 
Arthur Ames and Jean Goodwin created murals in the board chambers on the third floor, depicting scenes of early life in San Diego County, farming, recreation, and conservation. This first of San Diego's skyscrapers remains what it was originally designed to become, the home of responsible decision-making for the good of all San Diegans, where county employees promote the motto, good government demands the intelligent interest of every citizen, and where those trusted to make the right decisions realize that the noblest motive is the public good.